Hi, my name is Phoebe, and today I'm going to take you through the auto sewing feature. Now, this has been around for a little bit, but it's being improved every time. And right now, I'm going to show you how you can use this feature to sew up a classic shirt, um, a shirt with a collar, bike shorts, and even jeans. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so here we have our screen, our closed screen, all set and ready to go. Now, I have my avatar here, and the first thing I'm going to do is bring in the Easy Peasy Shirt DX app. I'm just going to right click and add to my workspace and say OK. All right, now I have my shirt. I'm just going to move this over right click and i'm going to apply some symmetry because we're all about working smart not hard i'm just going to close these up because i don't need them all right turning on my arrangement points this is really important the arrangement points are important here because they are what's going to guide the auto sew into like where certain seam lines should go so arrangement still doesn't have to be perfect but it should be about right Okay, so I'm going to go to my avatar and I'm going to turn on my arrangement points. Then she's going to have the like little blue dot disease. Now, some of you might have caught it when I turned on my arrangement points at first. You didn't see it. That's because my quality render was on. If your quality render is on, you don't get to see your um, arrangement points. However, if you turn it off, you will get to see your arrangement points. No biggie. All right, so now I'm going to select my front, place it on, and isn't it great because like everything's symmetrical, so that means I only have to worry about half. It's the easy things in life that are the best. Okay, I've placed my shirt on, she looks great. I can turn off my arrangement points, and going into this little auto sew here, this is the auto sew tool. It is a little bit down. It's right next to all of your other sewing tools in your 3D window. It is only in the 3D window. So the auto sew option is only in your 3D window. It is not in your 2D, but you will find it with all of your other sewing tools. I'm just going to click this. Now, I'm going to stick with top and front type. I want this closed, so I'm going to say closed. And it's asking me if there's a collar seam. There's not, it's fine. And I'm just going to hit OK. Now, as you can see here, everything is all sewn up. I can check this. I can rotate around, make sure all my sewing lines are correct. They are. And you guessed it, simulate away. And you're all set. Before we jump into the next shirt, I just want to go through some of the things that we just saw when I was like, it can be closed, it's good, um, and everything. So when I go into this um, auto sew tool, you see garment type and you see top. So the first thing you see is front type. Do you want it closed? Now, if you go to this drop down, you see that there's openable option. If that is the option, then you don't have like the collar. Basically, what you're saying here is you just want to keep your top open. It's going to be the one I use next. The next option is partially openable. This means that part of your um, top will be open. Another part will be closed. This is used if like you wanted your center front closed, but your collar open. It is something that I could use for the next one as well. And then finally, you have closed completely. Now. What this is asking is for a collar seam. So it's saying, okay, so you want your top to be closed completely. That means there's no opening and you're pulling this directly over your head and like there's not gonna be any buttons or zippers. So what this is asking is the collar seam. Where is this and what should it be? So it's saying, should it be auto, like the automatic where it is? Should it be center front or should it be back left? Because we know that a lot of um, like t-shirts, a lot of the time the seam is actually on our back left. 
or if we want it to be center front, we could, or you could just do bottom. Any one of these options is great, but you do want to make sure that where you're placing your collar, it lines up with what you're putting in your collar seam. Okay, so that's important. For pants, you don't have any of these drop down options and same with skirt. It's just top so far. So just to quickly call out, as we can kind of see just from this first one, this tool is going to be really helpful to sew up blocks super quickly and just like get a lot of your blocks in clo ready to go for designers or anyone to start like sketching in everything. It's also great for when you know you have a really easy style and you just don't want to sew it all up and you just want to um, have clo do it for you and then you can do the more intricate sewing later. All right. Shirt done. Now let's try the other shirt. I'm just going to delete that. And now let's do the button up shirt. So now I'm going to add to workspace. And here I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to again move this over, right click, and apply symmetry to where I can. Some of them won't be. However, I can apply half symmetry to this, but um, I'm fine with it just being how it is. I am going to apply half symmetry though to this. So I can just select this pattern, right click and say half symmetry. Select this pattern, right click and say half symmetry. Great. Now again, I'm gonna turn on my arrangement points by using my shortcut shift F. Now I'm going to select my pattern pieces, place them on and as we probably all know, it's best to select both the um, this yoke seam and this yoke and the bottom of the shirt so that we can place them together. And now I just have the sleeves and the collar. And great. All right. Now I can turn off my arrangement points, go back to this auto sew tool. And this time it's gonna be a top. I'm going to say openable and hit okay. Because I made it openable, it's going to not sew the center front, but it's also not gonna sew my collar shut either. If I want to sew my center front, I can easily just sew it together. But I'm actually, all set with how this is now, and I can just hit simulate. And look at that, we've got our garment. I can easily use my fold arrangement tool to just fold this down if I want. Oh. Let me actually go into my trace tool and I can trace this and then fold this down. Unlimited undo, it's the best thing. And now we've got a shirt with a collar. Okay, let's go into our bike short option, right? Who doesn't like a good bike short? So now I'm just going to go to my bike short, right click, add to workspace, hit okay. And again, I'm going to apply symmetry where I can. However, I'm, I don't want these to be symmetrical because this is a front and a back. So I'm going to remove link editing and just apply half symmetry. Great. Now I can just select my patterns. And move these over. Turn on my arrangement points. And I'm going to select my front. Place this, select my back, place this, back waistband, front waistband, turn off my arrangement points, go into my arrange. Now I'm going to say these are pants, right? I can now hit okay. Look at that. I've just sewn up some biker shorts. I can hit simulate. She's definitely ready to work out now. All right, biker shorts done. 
Next, let's do something a little more complicated, a little bit more of a wow factor. Let's go into our jeans. So now we're gonna right click, add to workspace. Okay, let's move these over. Let's again, apply symmetry where we can because I love making my life easier. And let's select our pants, our back, turn on um, our arrangement points. Let, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to select both the pocket and this front and apply this. And then I'm going to do the waistband and the back waistband as well. Okay. Now, what I can just do is again, go to my auto sew, say pants, okay. And this is all set. Again, you can check all of the sewing if you need to, but this is pretty good. And let's hit simulate. And look at that, we've got some jeans sewn in a matter of seconds. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on how you can use the auto sew function to sew pants, tops, biker shorts, tops with collars. Um, you can even use it to sew skirts as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment in the comment section. A uh, clothes designer will get back to you and answer your question. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There's a ton of great content that will just keep helping you out. And thanks so much.